All right. What do we got here? First player, MK6 Bullet Hunter. RGB mechanical keyboard. This particular keyboard has blue switches. They are of the Altimo variety. Altimo, Altimo. I don't know how you say it, but you know what I'm saying. Anyway, in the box comes these. A few extra switches, cap puller, and a switch puller. Also, some instructions and a little uh, driver CD for those of you who still have optical drives. You can download the drivers. Uh, usually if you just plug the keyboard into your computer, it will automatically download the driver. But in case it doesn't, you can go to their website and download the driver from there. <clears throat> now, as to the keyboard itself. Uh, well. As you know, it's mechanical, it has blue switches, so it is very clicky. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. I've been using their Steampunk Lite Retro Keyboard, which is also RGB. I've been using that for my daily driver uh, for quite a while now, had no problems with it. But I do think that this MK6 is probably going to take its place on my desk because of one major thing that I love, and that is this right here. This is a volume wheel. Take note, other keyboard manufacturers. This is glorious. It's so simple, and yet I absolutely love having a volume wheel on a keyboard. Volume dial, volume wheel, any kind of volume adjustment where I don't have to use two keys to adjust the volume is a huge bonus in my book. Now, here, I don't know, you might not be able to see it, but right there, you push that button, you can control the volume with this, push it again, and you can control the brightness of the LEDs. So it's a dual purpose wheel, but I'm mostly excited because it's a volume wheel. This particular keyboard has six different light modes. Each of those six light modes have three variations, making for a total of 18 different modes or combinations of modes that you can have. Also, on top of those modes, you can change the speed of the lights and the brightness of the lights and sometimes the color of the lights. So, there's quite a variety of different uh, light arrangements of colors brightnesses and speeds that you can choose to better suit your personal preference. Uh, I just happen to like this super RGB kind of I don't know, sparkly night, I don't even know what you would call this. Uh, they don't name it in the instructions so I'm just going to call it pretty. Yes, it's pretty. Pretty RGB. Anyway, that's my definition. Anyway, nice black corded or braided cord, I guess I should say. The last one that I have, the the retro keyboard, has a red cord on it. I'm very happy to see that this is black. I did not care too much for the red one, so this is a nice change in my book. The bottom of this is plastic. It does have feet, so you can have it angled. The switches on this, like I said, they're Altimo. I don't know much about them, but the other keyboard that I have that also has Altimo switches on it is, like I said, I've been using it for a long time now. Never had an issue. It also came with replacement switches, and I have never had to replace a switch. They're good for millions of throws, I believe. Uh, I can't, I don't even know how many throws, it's some ridiculously high million number, it's, it, I mean if you get to that point before you decide that you want to get a different keyboard just because something else catches your eye, I'd be highly surprised. The frame on this is aluminum, but it does, like I said, I showed you the back is plastic, I'm pretty sure this middle part is probably plastic too, but the outer frame 
is aluminum. <clears throat> Excuse me. Altogether, I would say this is a great budget keyboard. This I paid fifty nine ninety for this, or fifty nine ninety nine. Anyway, it's under sixty bucks that I paid on Amazon, and I had it here in two days. So it's a great keyboard, especially for the price. I I think you'd be hard pressed to beat it. I would highly suggest this to friends, family, anyone that's looking for a nice budget friendly keyboard. This would be at the top of my list. Like I said, it's going to take its place on my desk and it's going to be my daily driver. It is just, it has everything that I personally look for in a keyboard. It has the RGB, it has the clicky, and it has the volume wheel. What more could you freaking want? I don't know. You tell me. What else would you be looking for in a keyboard? The only thing that I would per you know, possibly want to see on this keyboard is a USB outlet. You know, some keyboards have a USB outlet somewhere in this area where you can plug in a, like your mouse or a USB stick, uh, whatever you want to put into it. That would be kind of nice, but to be honest with you, even though I've had keyboards that have those, I don't think I've ever actually used them. Uh, so I don't think that would I don't think I would use it on this one either because I've never used it before so I'm just putting out ideas where I know other people have asked me if it had the USB on it and I had to tell them no and they were kind of disappointed so maybe first player in the future you could put in a USB outlet on here for those people who do want a USB outlet even though I don't want one other people will and I think it'll do nothing but help you sell more keyboards uh, but like I said, for me it's not a big deal. And at the price, I think you're getting a great deal on this keyboard. It is, without a doubt, the best one that I've tried at this price point to date. Now if anybody, any of you manufacturers out there, or anybody who knows the manufacturer out there who, can, who has a better keyboard for the, in the same price range, by all means send it to me. I'd love to test it out, see if it's better than this. But as I said right now, this is the best bang for your buck in this price range. For a keyboard. I highly recommend First Player. I've had fans of theirs, I've had keyboards of theirs, I've had numerous products of theirs and all of them have served me well. Even when I took them apart and did custom modifications to them myself, they still held up. I had one fan that gave me a problem. I let the company know about it. I had a, net, a new one within a week's time. So and that wasn't even due to the product itself, it was due to my clumsiness and me breaking it with my own modifications and they still replaced it. So huge thumbs up to First Player's customer service and their products in general. I can highly recommend them as a company and as a product. You will not be disappointed. Anyway, thanks for watching the review guys. Uh, if you want, please give me a like, give me a subscribe, go check out some of my other videos. Got a new one coming up on some nice uh, RGB RAM from Team Group. Stay tuned for that. Otherwise, talk to you later. Peace.